Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Muskie. This is my YouTube channel. So in my considering uh, what is going crazy in the world, I started thinking that maybe, it seems that maybe women are equating a lack of self-respect to being a good wife. Now, when I say good wife, I mean, I've, I've reduced it. I've reduced it to five things. And I know that it's more. But I've reduced it to cooking, cleaning, helping, affection, and being a good mom. Okay? To feed your husband nutritious, good food, to clean up after everyone. I'm not saying that he just is a total slob. That's not what I'm saying. So don't misinterpret. I'm just saying that you keep things clean that you show him affection, no problem. When he walks into a room, you smile and you do all the things, all the degrees of affection. You help him succeed because, I don't know if you knew this, and maybe he's never told you, but your husband wants to succeed so the whole family succeeds. He's not leaving you behind. You are a part of the wave of goodness. So if you help him, he can expedite that goal. And then finally, just to be a good mother, keep your children clean of mind, body, and spirit. These are what I would say your responsibility is. But it seems like a lot of women think, I have too much self-respect for myself, so I won't do those things for a man. All you're saying is, I'll cook for myself, clean for myself, I'll be a single mother, and raise a child alone. I'll give affection to my friends and family and I will certainly honor and obey my boss. But for a special man, no way. I respect myself too much. But this is, this is degrading thinking because it's separating you further and further from the meaning of life, which is service. And if you believe that a boss is worthy of your service, then you can certainly, I think, be persuaded that there is a man out there who is worth your service instead. Or maybe you should marry your boss. I don't know. But when you respect yourself, you are full. You are full of um, calm, erect thinking. You have figured out how to keep your mind balanced. You are happy and you don't need to rob others or block others from that orderly, loving, abundantly happy mind. The point really is to find someone who you find so valuable that you are going to do You're going to do the universe or God the service of showing that one person their value. That's how I see it. My husband is amazing, but not everyone treats him like a king. I can't believe it. So I say, you know what? Okay, if no one else is going to do it, that's my job to make sure that every day he knows that Everything he's doing is respected and applauded, and I will be there for him to remind him. And I don't think it's demeaning. I don't feel like I lack self-respect. So maybe that's the big head tilt of today's modern woman. In order to have self-respect, you have to be selfish. <sighs> or not. What do you think? I'm curious about this. Be well, friends.